Hello, I'm Steve. This is Bit of Munch, and I'm having a microwave meal today. Asda, chili con carne with rice, £1.55. Now the picture on the box looks really good. It really does look very appetising. I know it's got a bit of sour cream on there and a sprig of um, coriander, I think that is, but uh, yeah, it looks good. Let's see if it tastes good. Right, it says, tender minced beef cooked in a spiced and smoky chipotle chilli sauce with kidney beans and peppers served with fluffy rice. Um, descriptions are exactly the same on the back. Oh, I didn't show you the, well, I showed you the box, didn't show you the traffic lights close up, did I? Where are you? There you go. There's the traffic lights. Right. There's quite a lot of percentages to read out on this, so here goes. Eyes down for a full house. Cooked rice, 45%. Minced beef, 17%. Tomatoes, 7%. Kidney beans, 5%. Red peppers, 2%. Green peppers, 2%. And loads of other ingredients as well, of course. There's the usual iron, nice in thiamine. Um, chipotle chilli puree. Green chilli puree. Yeah, garlic, coriander. I'm expecting this to be... Oh, and chilli powder. Yeah, should be pretty spicy and should be pretty hot. I mean, pretty tasty. Something like that. Uh, <laughs> it takes uh, five minutes in the microwave. Then you peel back the lid, stir it, add some water to the rice. And another three minutes. So eight minutes in the microwave. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. But I have got handy my salt and pepper, my cumin and hot chilli powder. I usually buy, I buy, my, bleh, I buy most of my herbs and spices from Home Bargains because they're so blooming cheap but they don't do a hot chilli powder so I had to get that one from Asda. Right, I will bring you back when it is microwaved. And here we go. Look at that. It looks quite a, a thin salt, well, reasonably thin salt, the way it's sort of spread out there. But the proof is in the tasting. Oh, by the way, to go with it, I've done myself a, a bread roll, which is a good old Hovis cheese top roll with some good old seriously smoky spread. I thought that would go well with this because it said the um, chilli is smoky so nice bit of smoky cheese spread to go with it on a roll. Okay. I tell you what, this was making some funny noises in my microwave. I'm hoping my microwave is okay. It was sort of cracking and burbling and banging and all sorts. Weird. Okay, let's see what the rice is like. <clears throat> well, it is a good texture. It says it's a fluffy rice on the box, and it is. But it don't taste of anything. No, well, there's a, a an extremely small, tiny little taste of rice in that, but yeah, okay. Right, the main event though, the chili definitely smells smoky. So uh, let's see what it's like. That is really tasty. It's smoky. It's definitely got a bit of chilli hit there. Some chilli heat. 
a hit of heat or heaty hit, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. Some try and get a couple of the uh, kidney beans if I can. I'll get one. There's one. There's another one. The skin on the kidney beans has got a little bit of a chew to it. They're not the best kidney beans. But it doesn't look as though there's a huge amount of the meat in there. Okay, the over, it's the overall taste we want though, isn't it? Although the rice hasn't got much, well much, <laughs> hardly in any taste whatsoever, when you have it with the chilli, which by the way, the heat of the chilli is really building, yeah, the rice with the chilli is very, very good. Question is, am I going to add any sort of seasoning to this? And is it a two chilli rating? <clears throat> it's a very high one or a very low two. Let's put it that way. It's a good bit of, good bit of heat. And a good bit of smokiness. It's actually a very, very nice chilli. But, but. Now you know, if you watch my channel regularly, a chilli, for me, has to have loads of cumin in it. It really does. I don't really those oven gloves now. I should be able to do without them. So, I'm going to be quite generous. With this. You find with spicy sometimes, you get a little bit of moisture in them and they don't want to come out. Here we go. Right, a spoon I think. Let's give that a bit of a mix. Doesn't need any salt and pepper in it. It really doesn't. I uh, don't think it needs any more heat. Let's just try that now. I've added the cumin. Mmm. Oh, that really has lifted it. That really has. Got that aromatic taste of the cumin. Yeah, that's worked wonders. Hmm. I'm impressed with that one. I really am. For one pound fifty-five, I think that's a very good chili, and it's unusual in a sort of supermarket chili of this sort of price point to get a really a really smoky chili and that is very good I'd have that again definitely even though I've had to add some cumin to it I would definitely have that again I really would one pound fifty five right I'm gonna go and enjoy that with my bread roll and my smoky cheese spread that I've already showed you and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.